So guys, today is kind of a slow day at the shop. Um, so what I'm going to do is I had taken the drive shaft out of the 180 like last week sometime and I've just been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. I get out of here super late, like not really late, but like I get out of here past five o'clock, which is the time that most businesses close. So I'm gonna do this this morning and just get this done with. Um, but the drive shaft is out of the 180. I have that other drive shaft that I need to get the yoke switch onto. And after putting them next to each other, it at the drive shaft actually needs to be lengthened plus putting the yoke onto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the drive shaft place. It's down on Lantana Drive and I'm just gonna get that done real quick and I'll be back in like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But I'm gonna go get, go get that done and that's how we're gonna start off the day. So let's go ahead and go do that. So guys, we're here at the drive shaft place. I got the drive shafts in the back right here. But first I'm gonna go in and ask them what they need and then I'll run out to the car and grab them and see how much this is all gonna be. Hopefully it's not that much. Went to the drive shaft place and they gave me a good price. It was like around 350 bucks. That was basically giving me another tube, taking off the end yokes and getting a new yoke to fit my transmission. But after using my big old brain here, which is actually the size of a peanut and thinking, Wow, if I, Roberto and everybody's saying that if I make over like 300 horsepower, everything's gonna break. Transmission, diff, axles, like everything's just gonna start exploding for the car. So the best way to do all of this stuff is I have another, I have two diffs for the 180, so I'm not too worried about the diff. I have about six axles now because thanks a lot, Dan, for giving me all these axles. I have two axles from that diff that I had bought from Chris. And then Dan just gave me four more axles the other day. So I have basically an endless supply of axles. So over 300 horsepower, I'm not too worried about that anymore. But the transmission, I am going to probably have to get a 300ZX or a CD09 out of a 350Z. So in that case, I might as well just wait till I blow up the transmission and then I buy another transmission, put that in, and then I get a one piece drive shaft. So that's what I think I'm gonna do for that. Um, I'm gonna throw the two piece back in the car and just let that run. Today, Harvey, today we're going to go to the machine shop to drop off Gary's head, which is right here um, off of the 2J. And while we're out there, me and Roberto are also going to stop by Harvey's and I'm going to finally drop off my intake piping so that I can get that all set and ready to go. And then after that, just finish, my, finish up with the intercooler, um, move the battery to the trunk. I have to buy all the rest of the wire to do that. That's about it. Then we start saving up for the um, Haltech. And then the big fun comes when I said before with the intake, the top mount turbo and all that good stuff. So that's just gonna happen with that. So that's what we're doing later on today. But first, we're going to work on Chris's 300ZX. He bought a transmission cooler, which is actually in this box right here. Bam. We're going to be installing that. I'm gonna mock it up underneath the bumper, get a good spot for it. I'm just talking a lot right now get the lines for it, put it all together. He'll have the transmission cooler. He needs to get his brakes, the powder coater, blast coating said they should be done tomorrow. And then we can start doing the brake job on it. Uh, the big brakes that he's got for it, pads, some other little stuff I think he's got right here. Brake lines, the seal kit for the new calipers, brake fluid, brake pads, and yeah, I think that's about it for that. But we got a lot of work ahead of us on this, and then I got a lot of work ahead of me on my car. So let's get to doing these ones. Okay guys, so the front bumper is off. Kind of tricky getting it back off. Um, this one has like this arc box and like some other little stuff inside the bumper. Um, I don't usually put all the screws back in it, but that's just me. But he had all the screws in it. This is a brand new bumper. Didn't want anything to happen to it. So took my time, just did it like that. And now 
I have to find a good place for this transmission cooler and figure out where this transmission line that Roberto loop that's underneath there and get this thing rolling so that we can get this transmission cooler in there and then move on to doing something else. He wants braided brake lines and his rotors and calipers and stuff like that put on. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or tomorrow, but something will happen after this transmission cooler. So let's get on it. Okay guys, so the transmission cooler is mounted on the car now. I actually had to modify the brackets that they send you. Um, Mishimoto's would have been cool if like it wasn't so far in the front of the car because there's a lot of stuff in the front of this thing already. So what I had to do was I had to do two 90s on it to push it away from the bumper again. And then what we're gonna do is for the whole power and ground part, we're going to have the fan pulling instead of pushing the air. So it's gonna pull the air through it instead of having it push it. Um, and if I wanted to have it push it, I could have just turned it around and put it on the other side. There are screw holes on the other side of this too, but I thought it would look a little bit better than better this way and just my preference on having it face this way. I mean, it's not gonna be hard if Roberto wants me to turn it around and have it go the other way. It'll still be the exact same thing. The fan will just be a little bit farther forward and I might have to adjust the brackets a little bit more and make them have like a deeper angle to go back farther again. But this thing is basically all done, all mocked up and stuff like that. Right now I have to go to AutoZone and go pick up some transmission line. Um, the two lines are right there. So I'm going to have them run along the back of it right here, down where like the uh, lower radiator hose is and pull through right through there where that hose clamp is. Two lines are gonna come through. Then they're gonna go one to there, one to there, put some hose clamps on it. And then this thing will be all mocked up and ready to do the wiring. I believe Roberto was going to have it run on a, a um, circuit with a hall tech. Um, we're gonna try to get the hall tech into this thing. I, I'm not positive. This is a automatic car and we're going to be using a automatic transmission. The, so how this is gonna work is the stock ECU is going to run the transmission and all of that stuff, while the hall tech is going to run all the engine functions and do all of that stuff. So I believe what is going to happen is Roberto is going to try to figure out how to get that fan to turn on with the other fan of the motor so that it cools everything down. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to AutoZone real quick, get some transmission line, and I'll be right back. So guys, what we got going on here is Chris's car has the transmission cooler in it. It's all done. Uh, I just gotta finish bolting up the front bumper, getting all that set up. Um, I just did an oil change and adjusted a, an exhaust on a different 300. Um, but we're about to go to get some food, and then I don't know what we're going to do, but I think we're going to go try to get the Z or the, the G. But before that, I need to roll the fenders on that. Still got a big night ahead of me, and I am already tired. So let's go ahead and close up the shop, go get some food. So guys, we went and got some food, came back to the shop, and now we are on to rolling these fenders. I think I might have to reteach myself how to do this by watching one of my old videos on how to roll fenders. But, no, not really. Um, pretty simple. The only, the only bad thing is that like, we don't have the heat gun here right now. Um, the guy next door to us, the tire shop, Peter, he has our heat gun. So what I am using is a blue torch. Just lightly going over the fender, making sure that it stays nice and warm so that no paint chips, no nothing. I'm really going to have to work on these rears. Um, the fronts, obviously, you guys know, are just like super, super, super thin sheet metal. But the back is like double-plated sheet metal. So I'm going to have to clean this out, make sure there's nothing behind it. And uh, yeah, then do that. So it should be pretty simple. And um, get these done for him. Then he also has a rear camber arms for the back that we're going to put in. Um, that is right here. This brace right there take that out put the new ones in 
and should be all set and ready to go. And we got a motor in here. This is for a 370Z that we're gonna do next week. But yeah, we're gonna do this stuff and we'll be right back. So we got all the fenders rolled. We are going, I put the um, spacers back on. This spacer is not on yet. I have to put this one on. Um, but now we are going to do those camber arms in the back right here and uh, probably adjust it to like one degree of camber, maybe two. And uh, that should be good. Shouldn't rub anymore. The fenders are pretty, pretty rolled in the back. The only thing about this thing is like I was saying, it's like that double lip thing. So like the first lip that is actually the fender part didn't really fold all that great. But if it, if something goes wrong, I can always just go back into here and do it again. But Jay's moving to Miami, so I guess I got to go to him next time. Hola. Como esta? Si. Bien. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So guys, the camber arms are in. I have to actually tighten them up after we get the wheels on and see how tight they are. Make sure that they are both around the same uh, camber on either side, but they're in tight. Now we're going to throw a wheel on, put a couple lug nuts on see what they're like and then go from there but i think i'm gonna end this video right now and just go from and just like finish up so that i can start editing and stuff like that but if you guys like the video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button comment share do all the good stuff a lot more to come this weekend and i'll see you guys in the next one